Hey, John here, taking you through some steps of setting up your client mappings. Um, the client mappings are what the reporting tool is going to use to filter out any template that you're sending uh, in a mass email to your customers um, and filter out that template by each individual customer's data. Um, now, to set up the client mapping, you want to come to the data drop down and then select client mappings. Now for all of you new customers, uh, this page will be blank when you come here. Uh, if you do have some existing mappings for some reason, you'd see a list like this. To add a new mapping, simply click on this blue button. And then you want to name the mapping in this first line. So I'm going to do Umbrella Corp. And then I'm going to search for Umbrella on this second bar. Now as you can see on the left hand side here, we can see one mapping for each data source connected on my account, uh, which is what we want to see. If there is uh, a data source that does not have a mapping, perhaps uh, there's a different naming convention for that customer inside of that data source. So it doesn't hurt to come down here to this green plus button and type in something that might bring you a result for Umbrella Corporation. I don't see anything, so that must mean that there's not any uh, connection inside of Datto for Umbrella. Now, there may be cases where there are more than one uh, results appearing in each one of these data sources. Uh, if that's the case, you'd simply be able to filter and search through uh, those results by using this bar right here. So for example, if I were to search just for the letter U, M, you can see that it adds other companies to my uh, data source connection. Now what you want to do if this does happen is you can just simply exit out the unwanted mappings within each data source and make sure that it looks correct. So I can go through all of these and remove them. Now once you've done that for all of the data sources you could go ahead and save that client mapping. The mapping will appear here on the list as you can see at the bottom. And the final step you'd want to take is simply adding the client recipient uh, for that company, uh, essentially the contact at the company who will be receiving um, that company's report. So with Umbrella Corporation, I can go into client recipients. Now here I want to look through my list to see if possibly they already exist, which uh, looks like I do have a Bob Jones at Umbrella Corporation uh, added to the list up here. So I could simply check his name off, but possibly there might be another person at Umbrella I want to send that uh, report to and I don't see them on this list. I'll simply enter their name here. So I'll put Anna Jones, that'd be a Jones at UmbrellaCore.com. Once I add that user, you just see her appear here at the top with the check mark next to her name. Once I save that, you can see that the mapping now has two client recipients who will be receiving the Umbrella Corp uh, report once it's automated and sent out. Now, I hope this makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brightgage.com.